In this video, we're going to focus on TTL option for streaming in Charge.js. And this is part of the Charge.js plugin streaming series. So you might wonder, what is TTL? Well, TTL stands for time to live, meaning how long does data in a chart maintains while it's streaming. So for example, here you have this data here. But if you look at this data, and if you look at the option here, let's look at this TTL, the number, the default is set on zero or no value at all. So this is meaning, or this means the duration of the data to be kept in milliseconds. If not set, all data will be automatically deleted as it appears off the chart. This means that the moment we have here these data points, and the moment it passes away here, it is off the chart. So let's search it first. Let's figure out how many items do we have here. We can count this. So let's count from this one here. There's one. And then we have 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Approximately 10 data points, right? We can check it even quicker. So I'm going to open up here the console log. And in here, I'm going to type in the following. What we're going to do is we're going to get the array values. How do we get the array values? Exactly the same as if we do it in here in JavaScript. So what we're going to do is we go to my chart. And from my chart, basically this constant, my chart, then we say dot data and then in dot data we say data sets and then data all right so that's what we're going to do here so i say here my chart oh sorry not that i first say console.log let me say here my chart and you can see it already gives me the suggestion i already tried this on tried this before but we can just type it on data sets and then we want the zero and then we say dot data so we can see here right now and in closing parentheses enter you can see we get 13 data points right now or 12 sorry i guess the length about 12 so what we could do here as well is just to check one more time we press here the upper button or the upper arrow key it will give us the previous command and press enter you can see again we get here this says 13 but in total the length is 12 estimate 12 so the one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, all right, 10, 11, somewhere in there between. So I would say that's acceptable, right? So now we can extend this. Let's say we want to create a time to live TTL option here. So with a TTL, we can expand this to a number. So because right now it says here, how long will it be alive or how, how much time it lives? Well, as long as it's on the chart, it lives and the moment it's away from the chart, we can, it would be, be refreshed or deleted at once. Very useful if you want to keep your data load low because streaming is a very heavy matter, basically, especially if you have bigger data points. So let's change this now. We say to a TTL, and then we're going here. We have this streaming duration. And then we can say here, TTL. And this is also a value that we put in milliseconds you can see here the data to be kept in milliseconds so let's convert this now we say here we want to keep it in for one minute so if i do this put a comma here and save so once i did this i'm going to refresh here all right so we have to give it a few seconds just to run at least more than 10 seconds the moment you see that once it starts to work it starts to get better and you it starts to store them you can see here all of these data are still in here Later on, all right, we have all of this here now. I guess we can test this now. I will press here again the arrow key and we press enter. And now we have more data points. So something happening here as well, but you can see here now it starts to grab a lot of data points. Right now we have 23 in length in array. And if we do it again now, let's press here again up, up arrow key. And now we have probably 35 data points or somewhere in that, 36, 37, all right. And then do again, enter. You can see here now it goes to 42. And how many items will it store? Well, it will store to be exact at least for 60 seconds straight. After 60 seconds, it will stop storing the data in the array of the canvas. And after that, it will be just deleted. So you can see here, let's see if we can get somewhere. I think we already passed a minute. We put, put in this, we have 61 items. So it could be if we show every 60 data points, then 60 over every second one data point we should have about 60 to 61 items all right so you can see here length is 60 in this case let's try again now enter we have again 61 here showing but this is not really the real value this is the values here 
again 61 length 61 all right try again we should have far more now than 61 normally but if you click on this you can see here we maintain in the same length of 61 because we store only for 60 seconds the data after that it will be deleted so everything now is gradually being deleted and there you are so with this the ttl you can keep your data refreshed for a certain period of time or stored for a certain period of time thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel